Hi everyone, uh, we will be factoring a quadratic trinomial, the easy method. Uh, they call it the diamond, and I, I learned the diamond about five, six years ago. It's quite interesting and, and it's quite easy. It's, uh, I know students have a hard time factoring, and um, I'm going to do both methods for you. One's the diamond and one's the regular method. And compare the two and look at the elephant and see what the pluses and minuses are. So let's try an example first. I got x squared minus x minus 6. Well, um, we're going to use what's called a diamond method from now on. And here's how the diamond method works. Notice that right there? It looks like a diamond. And we're going to take out the box next time on the, di on the outside. Here is times, here is plus. Take the last constant, put it at the top right here, which is minus 6. Take the coefficient, the middle coefficient is negative 1. What two terms multiplies to negative 6 and, two, and adds to negative 1? Well, the factors of 6 are 6 comma 1, uh, one's not minus, one's plus, or 3 comma 2. Those are the only two factors, 6 times 1 or 3 times 2. That's uh, the factor of 6 that's multiplied to 6. So the product turns out to be negative 6 and, and the sum has to come out negative 1. Well, oh, we're going to be using this one. It's going to be minus 3 and then plus 2. Those are your second terms in the binomial when you factor it. So it will be x minus 3 and x plus 2. See how easy that was? Let's try to do this without time in this time. Let's use the regular method. Well, first thing we need to do is we say, what's the, uh, what are the factors of x squared? Well, it's x and x. So that goes in the first portion. And this is a minus on the last portion. One's going to be plus, one's going to be minus. You might have to reverse it or check it later on. Well, what are the factors of 6? It could be 6 and 1. So if you use the outer and the inner, and we multiply it in foil. We're looking for the oi in foil, and that should come out to be a minus x. So you got minus x plus 6x is plus 5x. Oh, it doesn't quite work. So how about 1 and 6? Um, that turns out to be minus 6x plus x. That's the outer, that's the inner. Still doesn't work. Well, obviously, you, you know, probably know what the answer is by now. It's going to be minus 3 and plus 2. Minus 3x plus 2x is minus x. And that's what we had before. So that's one uh, way to solve out this problem. The other method is a diamond. Uh, just to make sure, foil it out. x times x is x squared. x times minus 3x is minus 3x. And then we multiply the inner plus 2x and then minus 6. Factoring, you're going to be doing a lot of factoring in high school, so get the factoring down. Let's try a little bit more difficult problem. Let's try example 2. 2x two squared plus 5x minus 3. Uh, some of you are thinking or cringing. This leading coefficient 2 is going to get in the way. So you can actually factor it and I'll go back and forth. But the diamond method might be a little bit easier. So here's the diamond method. What multiplies, what adds. You take the leading coefficient multiplied by negative 3, you get negative 6 again. And put the middle coefficient, the 5, down here. What multiplies to negative 6 and adds to 5? You say, well, you got to put the uh, fraction on here as well. For the leading coefficient of 2 or higher, um, you're definitely going to, end up, going to end up with a fraction. Well, uh, it's going to be positive 6 and negative 1. So if this multiplies to negative 6, this adds to 5. And the leading coefficient, 2x, I'm just going to put 2x here and 2x here, uh, goes on top. So the 2x without the x squared goes on top. This one reduces to x over 3. So your factors are going to be x over x plus 3 times 2x minus 1. That was easy. 
Let's check it out. Fold it out. X times x, x times 2x is 2x squared. X times negative, negative 1 is negative x. Plus 3 times 2x is plus 6x. And plus 3 times negative 1 is minus 3. And the OI in FOIL, 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. The diamond works very, very effectively. Uh, there is one little caveat that you have to worry. And here's the caveat. When you have something like 4x squared plus 10x minus 6, if you try to use the diamond on this, it will not work very well. You have a lot of problems with it. The reason why the diamond would not work is because you, in this situation, this trinomial, you must first factor out a 2. Because it's common, the 2 is common to the first term, the second term, and negative 6. So factor it out. On the inside, the first term becomes 2x squared. And then plus, drop that down, 2 times what is 10x? 2 times 5x, or 2 times 5x is 10x minus 3. Oh, we end up with the same problem now. And so from here, you can factor it again using the diamond. It was the same previous problem, except it was a little bit different because we had a factor of 2 that was involved. Good luck, and thanks for joining. Factoring a quadratic trinomial, the easy method, which is called the diamond. Uh, most students should know the diamond, it's very effective. Sometimes uh, it's easier just to factor straight out like this. Sometimes it's easier to factor. Good luck.